Hey guys, I thought I'd update you with uh, my situation with peritoneal dialysis. Um, many of you have seen the videos, I started it two months ago. I had the procedure to have the tube in and I was doing peritoneal dialysis for about a month and then I had to stop doing it because I had various problems with it. Um, but it was it was the home dial dialysis. I was doing it four times a day and basically what happened was I had all the problems you can have with it, I got. In the first week I had draining problems. Um, the fluid wasn't coming out enough and you've got to put a fluid in and it's got to come out. That's how it works. And I had draining problems. I then got a infection in my stomach, peritonitis. So I've had to have treatment for that. Um, I've got issues. With dialysis. it's very important your bowels are clear. Your bowels, are, there's no constipation or anything. I was on all kinds of laxatives to help that. But I had problems with that area. And I think that the x-ray showed, it did show, the tube had moved. It should be down in the peritoneum at the bottom and it was pointing up it had been pushed up alongside having the peritonitis the infection i had a lot of worrying moments a lot of trips to the hospital at short notice i went i've been there 12 14 times in the space of two months um regarding issues and they didn't get solved i even had a two day stay a two night stay in hospital because when this peritonitis kicked off on a cloudy bag. And what are my thoughts on peritoneal dialysis? Well, the issues that have happened to me, if you're doing it, they are not so common. I think I've just been a bit unlucky in various ways. I've had all the problems at once. This type of dialysis does come with teething problems and it is, from what I gather, draining problems. Peritonitis does happen to people if they're on it for a length of time, from time to time. Um, the other issue with me is I'm immune compromised and having peritonitis is problematic. Um, it may not clear or get better as fast as with a normal immune system. So that's another worry. So. So currently it got to the point where my my tube was in the wrong position. So I, I was putting fluid in, not enough coming out, and the fluid is soaking up into my body. I was gaining fluid buildup. I was gaining swelled ankles, swelled feet, puffy feet. I went up about six kilogram in about five days, and it was very concerning at that moment. So I got told to stop it. They investigated it, did the X-ray. Um, I was put off this dialysis for a week. In that time, my blood started to go downhill again, pretty rapid. Some alarm bells kind of kicked off. Um, I was very worried. It's like, where do I go from here? I could fix the uh, the catheter, which is in the wrong position, with a procedure. I could have a procedure and they, put, they correct it in place, but there's no way of keeping this inside in place. It's got to move around. There's no telling it probably may happen again if I go through that procedure to correct it and it moves again I'm in the same boat and I can have drain problems again um there's this laxative you've got to have to clear your bowels to have this kind of procedure because it's safer uh, it's called picolax and it's very very strong a laxative very very strong it clears your bowels basically and this is what they think has caused the problem. It stirred the balls up, brought some bacteria and caused my peritonitis. So they're not really able to use this picolized laxative in a strong dose as they want to, to clear the bowels because, you know, they kind of fear this peritonitis coming back. So, um, yep, yeah, I've stopped peritoneal dialysis and have had a week of no dialysis while things got sorted out. 
and I have just started hemodialysis the other day on Tuesday it's first Friday today good Friday I had a procedure to have a neck line in I'm still got it here I don't know if you can see there and I've got a chest it's in my chest as well exercise in my chest uh, a couple of tubes there um, what are connected through the hemodialysis about two sessions so far and I'll talk about the hemodialysis in a different video in the next video I think um, but yeah my thoughts on the peritoneal home dialysis uh, for me it worked out really chaotic uh, there was a lot of panicky moments I just didn't feel stable at all it is a lot of work uh, there's a lot of responsibility. You, you are your own nurse kind of thing when you're doing it at home and the The times when things went wrong and I was just on my own and it's kind of out of hours or weekend You know you feel like There's no one to contact, you know, there is there is out of hours you can contact the ward out of hours if you've got serious issues but when it's like you know, it's it's something like it's not draining or something like that. You don't you don't be contacting the uh, the ward on out of hours. Um, but yeah, I just had many worrying um, issues and panicky moments, you know. And um, so yeah, I made the choice to go on to hemodialysis uh, with discussion with the doctors um, because they didn't feel confident that my peritoneal dialysis would be. A good long-term thing for me uh, but for a lot of people it is it works for their well some people some people can be on it for a couple of years have no problems at all you know um so yeah i've just started uh the the hemodialysis which is not at home it's in hospital three times a week and i will talk about that in the next video so um yeah i just wanted to let you know what happened with the the dialysis, my early stage, my first two months of it, it was chaos, absolute chaos. And um, but yeah, the staff at Exeter, doctors, you know, they've been very responsive. They've been on it. Whenever there's a problem, they've been there. And you know, it's not something I've done wrong. It's not something they've done wrong. It is just not right for me so um hemodialysis wasn't the first choice uh but now i'm on it i've had two sessions already and i'll talk about that in the next video and uh, so yep hope you enjoyed the update and thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace